Okay, by now you should have put your memory card back into your computer because I'm going to show you how to use the action replay feature. Okay, um, so basically you go back to the open folder to view files using Windows Explorer. And then, yeah. And then you have to go to your system file, so underscore system underscore, double click open that. And you see a file that says cheat. That's the basic cheats they give you already. Then there's a file that says USR cheat. So what you want to do is you have to go to the website, their official R4 website. Don't worry, I'll post it on the descriptions. Just check it out later. You have to go to www.r4ds.cn. And then they'll have a picture of the R4 box and the R4. Yeah. So what you want to do is go to downloads. Then you have to go to other related download and you click on R4 cheat code editor. Yeah. And then there's a picture of it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. Then roll scroll it all the way down and then there should be a blinking download one thing. Just download that. The other one's Hong Kong, so I don't know about that. Download it and uh it should be a winwar file so yeah winwar file sorry and uh so i already got it so after you extract it from your winwar file which is that looks like this but that's not it just looks like that extract it so just right click and then extract and then just click ok when something pops up and then it should have a folder that looks like uh, where is it that looks like this nope sorry wrong one um, hold on, give me a sec. Uh, I don't know where I put it. Uh, Alright, here. So, this should, once you open it, there should be another folder that says Cheat Code Editor. Click that. And then just click the first one where it's like green and yellow. Double click that. And then it should be a thing that says Database. And, uh, I couldn't get the action replay cheat code thing to work so I had to manually do it so I'm just going to show you how to do it manually so you go to F or file and then go to open cheat database and then there should be a file that says USR cheat click that open and there should be there should be a couple games in there already I added diamond and platinum <laughs> I'm a Pokemon freak <laughs> and uh, what you want to do is if they already have a game there then then you just click the plus button and then you just go to code and add code and then you just type in the name and find the cheat codes online or whatever and then just so I'll just show you guys add code oh sorry uh, so yeah click on you actually have to click on the game then you just go to code and then add code and then what you want to do is right here right here you enter your cheat code name right here this is only if you like if there's like a secret way of unlocking the code like R plus L or whatever write that in so you remember and then the Chico data is basically the codes for the Chico just copy and paste it off an internet website or whatever and then that's it uh, okay so and if you don't if you did it wrong just go delete section on the last one yeah and then if you don't have a game already just go to code again and then just click add game hold on let me just minimize that Okay, just go add game, and then there should be another DS picture. And then uh, right here is where you put the game name. And you, I don't know about you guys, but you gotta look up the game ID. So just type in, like, say you want uh, Mario Kart, but I think they already have it. But say you want that, just type in Mario Kart action replay game ID, and then it should be in like wiki answer or whatever. Yeah. And then once again, if you don't like it, just go to code and then delete section and then you're done and then after that just go to file and then you go to save cheat database and then always remember this is file name right file name right here always just click you and then change it to usr cheat dot that and then save and then exit that and then just to restart it, click your folder again and then click the folder. And then right there, that's your save thing. 
and you go to so you at your system file for your chip just drag and drop and then it says would you like to replace and then just say yes and then exit this exit this and then just yank so now I'm gonna so just so just yank out your USB cord again or micro SN no or micro SD whatever you like to call it once again take out and then put it back into your to the DS by the way if you really don't have a DS light you should get one because I hate the DS it's so big and fat so okay so let's just start up again so yeah loading everything's working fine just go back to your games and then directory again so go to the game you want to cheat on. So I'm gonna go back on the one I tried at first. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go on to uh, New Super Mario again. And then once on the touch screen, there's a there's a little box on the bottom that says cheat, and then like parentheses Y. Just click on that, and then check on enable game, and then cheat enable, and then this should be checked. Don't click B, because that will ruin your game. It'll, it won't run. And then on the top screen, there should be a list right here. A list of cheat codes. Just click the... So you click A to check the boxes. Just keep clicking A on whatever one you want. Just click A. And then... Then you just go back on the bottom screen. Just click Save and Exit. And then just start your game up. And then you're done. So, basically there's a built-in action replay. So I think 35 or 30 through 40 bucks for a game and a national replay is pretty worth it. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And uh, if you have any more questions, comment or whatever. And I'll do my best to answer them. I'll make another tutorial if it doesn't make sense. Just comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.